want to quickly look at the users of uh, accounting information that is what we generally know as stakeholders uh, stakeholders uh, right here we're having about uh, 11 users but I'll be when I pick one I will talk intensively on each of them and after which we are going to classify these users where they belong to because they can further be classified into internal or external users we'll be doing that uh, uh, but uh, let's go look at each of these the first user here is management 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 is part of one of the major internal users of uh, financial information it includes owners it includes partners it includes board of directors it includes managers at various level it includes departmental heads and it includes supervisors we call them we call them internal users they have interests they want to appraise the performance of uh, of, uh, of, 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 of of the company they have questions like can we afford to hire new employees or increase wage they have questions like is there sufficient cash to honor obligations they ask questions like how much does it cost to produce one unit of a product or a service they are engaging then they also ask a question of how can we invest in new equipment so these are the questions internal users want to want, want to attend to and these internal users range from management at all various levels owners of the business partners a board of directors managers of various departmental heads supervisors they constitute internal users competitors are external users they are external users uh, government is also an external users government is interested in the financial statement of a company or, or of a reporting entity or from its agencies like the internal revenue like the uh, 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 states inland revenue services like uh, the government economic agencies are planners they are interested in the financial statement of what of a of a of a complaint in question the regulatory authorities are also involved they are also interested in the statement of a company for instance the stock exchange market the security and what and exchange commission sec are also interested they have interest in the statement of uh, of uh, of a company. I, I can include them as one of the users. I call them security agencies, which are stock, the stock exchange. The stock exchange is also having interest. They will talk about SEC, SEC Security and Exchange uh, Commission. Okay. Also. We have economic planners, economic planners like the analysts. The analysts they find their way as financial advisors, the stock brokers. In fact, uh, uh, the, the, this list is in the, uh, uh, is so broad. We have stock brokers. Stock brokers are also part of it. We have the financial press or financial analysts. They are also what well, they are also part of the users of accounting information okay the tax authorities are not left out as i said because they are under the world under the government so tax authority are also users the public are what are classified under groups so we have public we have customers customers we have labor union that is under the public that are interested labor union labor union are also interested in financial statement of a company and uh, uh, employees also find their way here they are also interested they want to know if they are properly remunerated considering the financial uh, returns of the companies in question 
then the following people have direct direct interest direct interest with the financial statement that is the investors the present investors the potential investors creditors also have uh, the, the creditors also have uh, uh, a direct direct or direct financial interest or in the in the in the in the in the uh, accounting information presented by a company so these are the users of a uh, financial statement i want to classify them so look at these classes we have those one we call the internal users who are internal users internal users are people who participate in preparation of the financial statement they participate in the preparation of the financial statement they include what they include the management and under the management i bring under the management the categories are we have we have uh, categories here are we will talk about the owners the owners i will talk about the partners the partners are also part talk about the partners we we'll talk about the board of directors uh the the, the the board of directors board of directors are also part of it we we'll talk about the uh the managers we we'll talk about departments departments what department heads they are part of the management we we'll talk about supervisors supervisors are also interested supervisors are also what interested so we we'll talk about supervisors okay then uh, we we'll also talk about so supervisors also form a uh, part and parcel of the management that are interested in the financial uh information of the what of the reporting entity so management are part of uh, these are what constitute management which are the internal the internal or the internal users now for the external users for the external users there are people who do not participate in the preparation of the financial statement but they have a what well, they have an interest in the financial statement they have a stake they have an interest and we'll be looking at that looking at this stake based on what direct what direct direct interest direct financial interest those who have direct financial financial interest those who have financial uh, direct financial interest we're talking about present present uh investors present investors have uh, they have uh, direct or direct interest in the financial statement of the company also we have potential the potential potential investors potential investors have direct direct interest in the financial statement of the world of the company creditors who lend money creditors who lend money to the company also have direct direct financial interest then we talk about the banks banks and uh, financial institutions financial institutions they also have direct interest because they have fi direct financial interest in the in the in the in the information provided by the financial statement of a company they will have other what other lending agency other lending agencies also have a direct interest so these are external users classified based on what based on direct influence then external users based on government based on government based on government government is an external user okay and this year we'll talk about the inland revenue the inland the inland revenue services are uh, in nigeria here we will call it what the FIRS, Federal Inland Revenue Service, okay, and uh, what we call and the uh, other tax authority. They talk about government, government, uh, government planners. Talk about government planners, okay. The economic planners. They also have they also have uh, interest on the on the financial statement of a, a reporting entity, okay. Then regulatory bodies are. Uh, classify under external users and under the regulatory uh, other regulators or regulatory agency regulatory agency 
under the regulatory agency we'll be talking agencies we'll be talking about the first there is a stock market as i mentioned earlier on the stock exchange has it uh, has interest we'll talk about the security the security and the exchange commission the security and exchange uh, commission i talked about that earlier on that is the sec okay then we stay under external users we can see uh the economic planners economic planners economic planners are external what external users and these economic planners range from what range from uh, uh, financial advisors financial advisors financial advisors find their way here the stock brokers because they they they, they are also advisors to their clients stock brokers and also the financial the financial press the financial press form the economic planners then we have other groups other groups that are uh, other groups other groups that are under under external users includes employee employees include labor union labor union they are all they are unions then the customers you will not ask me what's the interest of the customers <laughs> what interest does the customer have on the on the financial information of a company general public uh, the, the 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 customers want to know the uh, uh, the will I say long-lasting supply of the services or the company or, or the services or, or the goods which the company is uh, providing. Now, internal users and external users, as I said, they they have questions they want to answer. There's a stake. There's a stake they have they have in the company, and the questions they want to answer to the internal users, they want to provide solution to questions like, can we afford to hire a new? Uh, to our uh, photo hire new employees or increase the wage okay and uh, they also want to know if uh, for the financials is there is sufficient cash to honor present and future obligations then they also want to know how much does it cost to produce one unit of their products as internal users they also want to know can we invest in new equipment uh, is there a business opportunity that is open can they invest considering the financial position of the company and as external users external users also have uh, the external users also have questions they want to uh, provide answers to and these questions are is the business making profits can the company afford to pay dividend that is what stakeholders uh, uh, shareholders want and if they can afford to pay dividend how much that is the extent then the, the, the question is the, the, the external users also ask question like uh, will the business be able to meet its obligation when for due that is the, 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 the lenders the money lenders the, the creditors they want to find answer to this question will the business be able to meet its obligation when for due how Another question that what external users would like to find answer to is how is the business performing in comparison to its competitors? Then there are questions like uh, is this major acquisition or takeover of of benefits to us? That is the, the external users want to know if business margin or business acquisition is of benefit to their interests. They also want to answer questions like is the company following accepted standards when preparing its financial statement because the standards are meant to provide and protect and ensure ensure the code of ethics and code of conduct that uh, that uh, the interest of uh, of the various parties are being uh, are being uh, ensured and be satisfied when preparing the financial statements so these are the questions which external users would like to what to uh, provide answers to and these questions are, can only be found due to their interest on the financial world financial statements right now let's put a look at what we call accounting equation and uh, the total of uh, financial accounting is based on the accounting equation the principle of double entry developed from the world from the axiom of the world of the accounting equation as well 
So the fundamental equation is what well, is given as assets equals to capital plus liability. So the accounting equation emphasizes the equality between the asset and liabilities in uh, a, of an organization. And, uh, uh, and when we talk about liability, all of these are referred to as liabilities in the actual sense because capital in its actual sense is also a liability okay now so a equals to capital plus liability so if I'm looking for capital it will become I minus L that is subject of formula and if we're looking for L it will become from this it will become a minus what minus C so this is the accounting equation but before we start putting it in practice it is necessary to look at what assets are what is an asset what is a liability okay so uh, uh, now these are the basic concepts we have to know business entity concepts we have a record one of the accounting uh, uh, concept and convention we have a record business entity concept we will be looking at that later regards of how a business is what uh, regardless of how a business is being owned whether it is a whether it is a sole trader or partnership the business entity concept is recognizing that every business has a separate entity the business or the business is being separated for the world from the real owner so regardless of how a business is, is legally set up in accounting a business is always treated as a separate as separately from what from its owner so we must take that concept into consideration in all accounting irrespective of the form of uh, forms of uh, business ownership now in accounting capital is an investment capital is an investment of money that is formed with the intention of earning what earning a return so a business proprietor invests capital with the intention of earning what earning profit so as long as the money is invested accountants we what we treat the capital as money owed to the world owed to the proprietor by the world by the business so you can see in the actual sense capital that is being introduced by the owner of the business is a liability is a liability and uh, that is how it's been uh, treated in accounting holding on to the concept of uh, holding on to the concept of a legal entity holding on to the concept of legal entity so that is uh, 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 how we treat capital now let's quickly look at uh, those components of accounting equation asset liabilities asset liabilities and we look at their recognition according to uh, accounting standard IS1 this definition is based on accounting standard IS1 so let's look at what uh, assets are assets are resources assets they are resources controlled by the entity now look at the control the control world they must be controlled by the entity as a result of past events and from which future economic these are the basic these are the basic elements when you are defining an asset from which what from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the entity this is what qualify what makes an asset to be an asset it must be under the exclusive control of what of an entity before it's classified as what as asset and it's as a result of past events and not only that future economic benefit must flow more, or is expected to what to flow to the entity from the use of that word of the use of that asset okay so what is liability liability represent obligation of an entity it must be obligation either a contractual obligation it must be obligation of an entity it's also arising from what from past event is arising from what past event the settlement of which is expected to result to an outflow in order to settle it there must be an outflow an outflow from the world from the entity resources embodying economic work benefits so for a liability to be exist it will be an obligation and it must be from the past event and in settlement of it there is an outflow of economic resources of the entity in question 
So this is the standard definition of asset and the standard definition of a, a liability. Once again, assets are resources controlled by the entity as a result of past events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the, uh, to the world, to the entity. Whereas liabilities represent or present obligations of an, is a present obligation of an entity arising from past events and settlement of which is expected to result in an outflow from the entity, uh, 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 from the entity of what resources embodying, uh, uh, the economic world benefits. So that is what liabilities are. So, Let's look at how we recognize liability. That is a, <coughs> a recognition of what, of uh, this asset or liability. We have to look at it uh, at initial recognition. When is asset or liabilities initially recognized as an asset? Or when an item is uh, initially recognized as an, as, a what, as an item? So we'll look at it as initial recognition. Recognition is the process of incorpor uh, incorporating in the statement of financial position or statement of comprehensive income an item that meets the definition of an element and satisfies the criteria for what for recognition. So we are talking about assets, liabilities, equity, income, and what and expenses. How when should we recognize them? Do they meet the required definition of what an asset should be, or what a liability should be, equity should be, income should be, and uh, what expense should be? So elements should only be recognized in the financial statement if and if number one, number one, it is probable, it is probable that any future economic benefit associated with it uh, uh, associated as uh, uh, benefit associated with the item will flow to an organization or from an entity it is an asset it is an income the future benefits associated with the item will flow in to the organization if it is an expenses, if it is a liability, it will flow out from the world, from the world, from the entity. That is the first condition. Two, the item has a cost or a value that can be measured real, with what? With reliability. It must be measured with what? Reliability. That is the second condition. Then after which, Subsequent what? Subsequent measurement of what? Of uh, uh, an item, uh, an element of asset, liabilities, uh, income or expenses. Uh, what will be the subsequent measurement? Measurement is the process. Measurement is the process of determining the monetary amount at which the element of the financial statement are to be recognized and carried in the statement of financial position and statement of comprehensive what? Income. The following bases are used to different to, to, dif to different degrees and in varying combination to measurement uh, to measure the world the element of what of a financial statement. Number one, the subsequent measurement will be what historical costs. Of course, we know it is peculiar with financial accounting. Historical costs are, are assets are recorded at the amount paid or fair value of consideration given to acquire them. At the world, at the time of what, at the time of their acquisition. Then, on the other hand, liabilities are recorded at the amount of proceed received in exchange for the world for such obligation. That is where we'll be, where we'll be using historical costs. We can also use another word, another. We can use the current cost. So a subsequent measurement of this asset liability expenses and what and uh, income subsequent uh, current cost assets are carried at the amount of cash and cash equivalent that would have to be what to be paid is the same or equivalent asset we are acquired currently whereas liabilities are carried at the undiscounted amount of cash or cash equivalent that will be required to set to the obligation currently or presently then the last 
a method of a, a, a subsequent measurement of those elements of financial statement, which could be asset, liabilities, income, or, or expenses. Now, realizable what? Realizable value. Relevant value or settlement value. Now, assets are carried at the world at the amount of cash and cash equivalent that would be obtained by selling the asset in an orderly what disposal. Orderly disposal is the key word. Orderly in a normal situation, in a normal market condition, at arm's length, at fair value. So liabilities are what are carried at the settlement values. That is the undiscounted amount of cash or cash equivalent expected to be paid to satisfy the liabilities uh, uh, in the normal world, in the normal course of work of the business. So these are the subsequent measurement of asset and liabilities. We can measure them historically, current cost, or we can use what realizable value or settlement value. So having discuss asset and liabilities it is necessary we look at the classification of the asset classification of liability before we now look at a, a critical example on accounting equation and we'll forge ahead so let we look at classification of asset and liabilities for the asset side assets are classified majorly into two assets are classified into two assets assets they are majorly classified into two we have what we call the current asset the current asset and we have what we call the non non-current non-current asset non-current asset in your old uh, uh, standard of statement of accounting standard we call it a uh, fixed asset but please i don't uh, 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 the, the, the ifrs say we should be, this should be called this, this is known as what this is known as uh Current uh, is known as non-current what asset. Well, let's discuss the current asset. What constitutes a current asset? Why do we call it a current asset? These are the features that what will make an asset to be classified as what as a current asset. One, an asset will be a current asset when the asset is expected to be realized or intended for sales or consumption in the entity's normal world operating what operating cycle for instance stocks sorry inventories because uh, stocks is updated inventories are what are tagged current asset because they are consumable or your, your inventory of raw material your inventory of finished goods they are consumable you know within, uh, within an entity on the normal world or normal operating what normal operating cycle Asset held primarily for trading. Asset held primarily for trading are classified as current assets. Yes, we know that what we know that the, the lifespan of motor vehicle are what span over what span over a year. That that doesn't mean that what a business that is trading on what on cars and motors uh, 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 lorries. They are, that is the primary cost of business. That's what they are trading. That's what they are selling. That's what they are buying. To them those cars those cars they are selling they are buying to them is not an asset it is goods they are held for primarily for what for trading asset expected to be realized within 12 months after the reporting date within 12 months after the reporting date i said that loud that last for a span of one year of reward of realizing uh, one year of what recovering or realizing their value they are tagged as what as what as a uh, current asset for instance your prepayment the prepayment is part of it the the, the receivables which you call normally called debtors is part of it so they are what they are they are recoverable they are realizable within 12 months after the reporting what after the reporting date then cash or cash equivalent cash or cash equivalent unless the asset award are restricted in the use of for what for at least 12 months after the what the reporting period or are to be what to be used to settle a what a liability so that is what uh, 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 these are what constitutes what uh, constitutes liability uh, current what current assets let's look at the next which is current what which is liability liabilities are classified into what but before we look at liability the non current assets are assets that are what they are they are tangible assets that are bought for the use of the business 
for the use of the business. And uh, the, 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 the you have a long span more than what more than more than a year. The long span is more than what life span. Life span is more than what more than a year. That is what we call correct asset. They are not intended for sales in the ordinary course of the business. That's what we call the non current or non current assets. Now the liabilities are divided into two as well. Liabilities are divided into two as well. Current liabilities and non current liabilities. What shall constitute a current liability? A current liability current liabilities. One liabilities expected to be settled in the entity's normal or normal operating what cycle. They are expected to be settled in the normal operating cycle. The liability are held primarily for what? They are held primarily for trading. They will refer them as what as uh, a current liabilities. The liabilities due to be settled within twelve months after the reporting date across, for instance, accrued rents. They are what they are. They are, are current liabilities. Your de your creditors, which you call receive the, the the payables. They are what they are. They are current liabilities. Liabilities for which the entity does not have an unconditional right. Unconditional right. You know, unconditional right to defer settlement for at least twelve months after the reporting work period also constitute a what a current liability so the non-current asset and liabilities are expected to be what settled more than what more than 12 months after the reporting date so this is uh, the classification of the asset and uh, liabilities okay so the next we can move now you can now comfortably look at uh, an illustration regarding to assets uh, uh, regarding to accounting equation, we we'll state that at any point in time, asset of a business must be equal to submission of capital and uh, liability. Okay. So we have this question on the screen. We have to find this missing or this missing figures.